guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you how to frost and layer a chocolate cake it's a one tier cake but it has three layers I baked this cake this morning and it's nice and cool ideally bake it the night before I did share a recipe in a video previously it's our moist chocolate cake that we're decorating today so let's start decorating So these are my three layers of chocolate cake. In the previous video that I've showed, this is three batches of the recipe. That is the moist chocolate cake. And we're going for simple colors today. This is an ivory and it's gonna be gold, a little bit of gold, very simple cake. So I will list the ingredients in the description. I used 500 grams of butter to 1 kg sifted icing sugar. I did not add any milk here, but if you need, you can. So now we're ready to start decorating. So we have strong afternoon sun that's peeping in through the kitchen. I'm using my turntable and a gold board, but you don't need to have a turntable and you could use a, a cake dome or a cake or just a plate. So because this cake is traveling quite a few kilometers, I need to ensure that I secure the cake properly. So I've melted a little bit of chocolate in the microwave for 30 seconds, just ensuring that the base of the cake is stuck and it's not gonna move off the board. So before the, the chocolate dries, I need to secure the first layer. Just cutting a little bit off the top. Just need to level the cake. I'm just going to brush off the additional breadcrumbs. Sorry, I meant cake crumbs. Now we're ready to add some frosting and we're going to be generous. And I'm using a cake palette. Just going to circulate to the cake, covering the entire top of the cake. Now we're ready to go with our next layer. Same process. So as you can see, our butter cream is quite soft. And with the hot weather, we have to be careful when traveling with the cake or storing. So now we're ready to secure our third layer. I'm just gonna trim the top a little. So this is a fairly high cake, basically called a double barrel cake. And now I'm ready to frost the sides. I'm just going to brush off the excess cake crumbs. This is the crumb coating that we're now doing on the cake. Just 
going to secure the top with my hand. So now I'm going to use a scraper and just smooth out the sides. Smooth the top. So this is going to go in the fridge now for about 30 minutes and then we'll be ready to do our next layer of frosting. So now we're ready to add our next layer of frosting. We had this in the fridge for 20 minutes. I forgot to mention that this is going to be a semi-naked cake and this was the colour gel we used, ivory. So this is the second coat of frosting and it's going to be semi-naked, just a little bit of the cake peeping through, not too much. So now we're going to smooth, same procedure. So I'm not smoothing the top, I'm just leaving it to have that rustic look and this is going back in the fridge for 20 minutes. So now we're ready to add the, de the decorations and finish off. I've got a cake topper that I've painted with edible paint going to add that on here and I'll just add the decorations and just show you and really you can add any food safe product that, that you wish as long as it's food safe. So as I said, this is a very simple cake, not too many items going on it.
and it's traveling quite a few kilometers all the way down the south coast. Add some greenery. And that's what it's looking like. Just gonna add some edible gold dust and some foil using the tweezers. So we're just trying to stay with the colors of the ivory, nude, and gold. So the cake is now ready to go. Very simple, very pretty. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Please remember to share and subscribe until our next video. Take care, bye.